what we have is a, a next generation mission support system that consists of a, a mission planning system. So before pilots go flying, they can create their mission, they can rehearse it. They can then load the system, um, the missions to the uh, aircraft itself through the avionics. And uh, we also have tablets as well that they can also take flying as an integrated part of the system. Once they've been flying, they can then come back and they're able to then replay the mission um, so they can learn all of the lessons from, from this single system. So it's, it's a modular system, which means that people can, can have part of it or all of the system. So we do find that customers, some want to have the tablets to enable greater performance uh, for their mission on board and with them in the cockpit because of what it can do, um, or they can just have it as a planning system before they go flying. So if you've got an analog helicopter like a Sea King, you could use Gecko to basically give you a digital avionics upgrade in a tablet form. Yeah, and, and really the big market for us, even though it applies across old aircraft to the new ones, clearly the use of a tablet and a digital moving map, as well as all of the mission um, overlays that we can provide, so surface wear missiles, into visibility, um, you know, various connectivity, um, for, for, for the older aeroplanes, there's, there's much more of the functionality that is of great value. So, yes, an older platform is then right up there with the latest state-of-the-art avionics that you would have with the most modern of aircraft. So it's a, a capability leveller as, um, as, as a system. And it can integrate with existing mission planning systems? Yeah, so we, we, we've got um, a lot of interoperability within the system. So whether that's in the data formats, in, in, in transferring between systems. So we're not saying that our system needs to be the whole thing for all of a, of a nation's aircraft, but we, we, we can fit in and work with those other systems um, as, as, you know, as, as best we can. Can you do fuel weights and uh, range and distance between waypoints and work out uh, wind and what have you? Yeah, so it's very comprehensive, whether that's for navigation and performance. So we, we, we can take an entire performance manual of any aircraft and, and we can put it into the system which allows us to be able to perform weight and balance, centre of gravity, takeoff calculations, all those critical figures which can make or break a mission. Um, and that's not just before you go flying but also on the tablet whilst you're in, in flight. So if you are tasked with going with a helicopter to go and rescue from the top of a mountain, you will already know how many people you would be able to rescue, which is not something that you can easily do at the moment. Is that all loaded into the software then? Yeah, so it's, it's all loaded into the software and all the data is configurable. So we can provide solutions for, for any helicopter, any fighter, as well as transport aircraft. So, so it really is a flexible and modular enough to be able to you know, give any any nation's platforms a, a, a solution that, that really does en enhance military capability. And it's in operation with uh, other units or countries? Yes, yeah, so uh, extensively used here in the UK across the Joint Helicopter um, Command. We've, uh, we've got uh, Jordan and Indonesia as uh, uh, Middle Eastern and Far Eastern customers. Um, and that is across a whole range of platforms. So we have things like, um, like Hueys, um, we have Apache attack helicopter, so the latest generation modern, modern platforms. We have F-16s, we've got SU-30 MKI, so we've got everything from Western platforms all the way through to, 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 to Russian, you know, as well as everything in between. So what we were just talking about was the flexibility of the system and how easy it is to use. So, so if we look here on the, on the sort of display, we can sort of see, if I sort of zoom in, we can see a helicopter. This is part of our mission rehearsal, which will allow us to, to, to fly through any scenario that we have created as part of our mission and uh, and you can sort of see you know it, it's very simple to use and also as I'm uh, amending here on the, on the plan and you, and you can sort of see that this you know is is designed with uh, with with the, a modern modern generation ap approach to uh, to the system we, we talked about um, so if we, if we now look um, over at this display on the uh, on the left we were talking about performance earlier so we, we can see we have lots of complex performance calculations here and the layout of the back of a Puma helicopter well if we uh, if we just want to sort of add aircraft in here and you'll sort of see how the performance is changing um, and uh, you know you, you'll also now see 
that it's actually generated a warning. Because we put too many people on board, which means that if we were to lose an engine, then we would have some uh, issues with hovering performance with this particular helicopter. So the whole environment is fully integrated to make sure you can plan simply using all of the, the modern left clicks, right clicks to be able to create and manipulate your mission. And the future? So as to the future, we're, um, we do see this as a next generation system, which means that we, we want it to be as interoperable to try and make life easier for, for our customers, because everybody now expects to, to have a mission planning system or a mission support system like their mobile phone. So because Inspire is a company with, with thousands and thousands of flight hours with the, with the people that we have in the company, we want to mirror um, or take that experience and, and, and put it into mobile technologies so that everything is very simple for them to, uh, to, to, to use, as well as connecting with all the meaningful capabilities, so connecting communications, so we can network all of the information, we can connect to satellites, we can um, have capabilities like Link 16, but done in a, delivered in a, in a way that has not been done before, and that's a really exciting part of this, um, because traditionally it's extremely expensive avionics within aircraft, Whereas through the Gecko system, we're providing an alternative route to capability um, that, it, that is a fraction of the cost. So you could do a civilian uh, private pilot, small air single engine aircraft up to the latest multi-engine military aircraft? That's exactly right, because through the modules, you might just want one of our applications. It might just be the moving map and navigation. You don't need surface-to-air missiles. You don't need you know, the whole range of other capabilities that we have. So we will just provide you with what you need. Um, but it will be specific and it will be right for your platform type through the architecture of our system.